Oh my, oh my knees. All oh, right, <laughs> be wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to go into the hills and mountains soon, but I've, as you can see, I've finally given into it. This is the start. Well, it's Saturday. I suppose the end of week six or the start of week seven. Anyway, of lockdown, and I'd managed to resist the. Uh, the temptation, well not really a temptation because I hate DIY but the instructions of my <laughs> the boss tell me you need to get out and do some DIY and what have you so I've eventually got to it and I've power washed the decking last weekend I did that I should have done this when the weather was really good although it's nice today anyway yeah I've succumbed to DIY the cars have been polished I was really holding off thinking you know what hopefully we'll get back to the mountain soon but it doesn't look like it's going to be it's going to be any time soon, so I'm sure lots of you who've got gardens and cars and stuff and inside chores, even if you've not got a garden, will be, yeah, getting some of that stuff. And I suppose the upside of it is it'll free up time when we are allowed back to the mountains because you won't have to worry about staying in at weekends to to keep everyone happy by <laughs> oiling the decking or cleaning the car and what have you. So I am Saturday morning. I've been out here for about three hours. I'm going to get this wee bit of decking finished now. And I'll see you back at the office to give you some answers from Wednesday's video and maybe I'll wee chat about the mountains. But for now, I need to get scrubbing. <laughs> So that's that all done. The decking is now ready, ready to go. I, I wouldn't worry, especially Alan Titchmarsh, if you're if you're watching. <laughs> I don't think there'll be many more uh, videos from uh, from me which involve gardening or de decking or DIY. But uh, there's there's not much satisfaction going on, probably for all of us at the moment, given the current situation. And yeah, a little bit of satisfaction might come when it starts to rain and I can watch that water beading on the, the decking. <laughs> it's sad, I know. I did it the same a few weekends ago when uh, when I polished the cars. The first rainfall that came, I went outside to, to watch, the <laughs> watch the water bead off the car. So that's how, that's how desperate I'm becoming. It really is quite tough, isn't it? Not getting, not getting out. Anyway, so Sunday vlog today. Uh, apologies, last Sunday there was no vlog, and there was a reason for that. Uh, last Sunday I was invited on to a live stream on YouTube, which was great fun. Uh, there was a couple of guests on. There was myself and a Scottish photographer called Kim Grant. Check out our channel up here. I'll put a link to it here and in, in the in the description. Uh, and that live stream is now up on, on YouTube if you want to go and watch it. Uh, it was with it was on Gary Gary Goff's uh, channel. I'll put a link here and in the description. And you'll know Gary from when I went up with Stack Polly where he did the uh, where he interviewed me. I'll put that I'll put that video where he interviewed me in the top of Stack Polly somewhere in here as well. So yeah, so the, let's get on to it. after after my decking and all that nonsense. The video on Wednesday was just something, just a bit of fun. It's not something, don't expect me to be doing a uh, Where's Murray video <laughs> every, every week. But I, just, I just thought it was something different. And that was actually filmed the way back uh, January, February time when those storms just kept battering us and the, and the ground was saturated. It's hard to believe that now after about seven weeks, almost coinciding with the lockdown, seven weeks of very little rain in the... The ground out there when I've been going on my daily exercise with the dog has been rock hard and uh, the opposite of what it was in the the previous few months. So anyway, right, so yeah, where was I? Let's let's get to it. So I'm just going to go into my computer now and I shall pop the screen up here. So I shall switch to this screen now and I'll tell you exactly where I was. Well, where was I? So there was a few, before I go into that screen actually, there was a few uh, clues. I've got a bit of paper here, let me just go through the clues. So 
One of the clues I said, uh, from there was three locations. There was a wee bay and beach. And then there was a wee, sort of a couple of viewpoints I went to. And the third one was where the standing stone was. And quite a few of you got them right. There wasn't many people that got all three exactly right, to be honest with you. So well done. I'll come on to, I'll <laughs> come on to those people that uh, deserve a special mention. But um, some of the views from the different locations, so from the, the views, sorry, some of the, uh, the clues that I gave from the three different locations were as such. So uh, when I was on the beach, I said it was a fine view and I was going to be listening to Paul McCartney on the way back. Uh, the second location, I gave a few names uh, of locations round about, Burnt Island and Buttock Point and maybe somewhere where the Simpsons would go to. And the third one, there wasn't many clues, it was just a standing stone. So let's let's flip to the map and I'll show you where it was. So the first location was not far from where we were staying. So we'd rented out a holiday cottage at this place here, near Mel Daloch. And it was these uh, cottages down here, the chalets. And, and the, the reason we went there was my wife that found it. The, the name of the chalet related to a famous castle in her favourite programme with a Mr James Fraser. Lally, Lally Brock, and that's what took us down there. So great marketing for <laughs> from whoever did that. That was the main draw for us to go down there. And it's an area I've never been to before, and it's in Argyle. And if I just zoom out, you'll get a better idea of where I was, if I can figure out how to do this. There we go. Oh, I'm zooming in. So zooming out, you can see where I was down here to the west of Glasgow on the peninsula, down in Cowell. So the first location I was at wasn't too far from our wee chalet here and all we did was we walked down along the river. We didn't see the standing stones, we kind of came down here, it was pretty rotten weather. And the, the beach I was at was this one here. Ochalik Bay, or Achalik Bay, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It was lovely. Uh, the views were, you could see right over to the Mullican Tire, Whoa, way over here somewhere. So that was the Mullican Tire and that's where the Paul McCartney clue came in and it's Loch Fine here, hence the fine view. So that's that was location number one. And for location number two, we actually headed in the car and we headed over, I, I think I said in the video that was the west facing coastline. So we, we drove the car all the way down here and then across to this point here. And you can see, so a lot of you got this, the Kyles of Butte. And this is the Isle of Butte here. You can see the Isle of Butte. And the second location was actually near Tynabruch. We'd stopped for a coffee and a wee bit of a cake, cake and coffee in Tynabruch, which is lovely. And we headed up the road so far, and there's a couple of viewpoints up on this road where we stopped. And yeah, you, you, one of the viewpoints was round about here. There we go. That viewpoint there, and you were looking. Uh, looking sort of east, northeast to Buttock Point. There's Buttock Point there. You can see that. And what did I say? Burnt Island. So where's Burnt Island? There we go. Or Burnt Islands. And these ones here. And that was other clue. And I think I said there was a place related to the Simpsons, which is maybe from the second viewpoint, which was here. I'm sure. Up here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Springfield. There we go. So that was the uh, that was a clue as well. So that was the second location. Third location, a lot of you got actually, it's the start of the Cowell Way, one of these long distance uh, footpaths. And we came all the way back down here, and instead of going back up to the cottage, we took the wee road down here to a place called Portavadi here, and it, from here you can get various ferries and what have you, and we, we just sort of milled about, I mean it was a rotten day, and around about here somewhere I think there was a standing stone and that's where I went, so there's lots of standing stones around about here when you look at the maps. Maps are great things, aren't they? I might do that now. I might just sort of look at maps <laughs> for the rest of lockdown. But uh, that was, the, that was the, um, the three places we went to. So if I just, I'll close that down and come back to you for a minute or two. So that was the three places. So uh, Ochalik Bay, Tyna or the, the road just north of Tyna Brook and Port of Addy. And well done. And thank you everyone for, for taking part and just having a bit of fun and and um, seeing the, the light side of it, it was very much appreciated. So there was lots of different answers. And uh, let's, go, let's go back onto the computer and just see who got it right and who was round about and who didn't get it right and what have you. So 
here we go here here's the video uh, so the first person I think I was going to mention so Alistair yeah you've got the area fight the fine area <laughs> a very good a beautiful spot on there uh, John very well done just north of Port Dresich looking over the Kells of Butte um, yeah that's absolutely right that was the third no second location uh, John Armstrong very good Stuart McIntosh Tina Brooke absolutely and you've got the Springfield one there as well and I was staying it's exactly where I was staying Mildalic Lodges brilliant uh, Brian fantastic yeah I do need a blow I've got, I've got the red top on today <laughs> Um, Mike Gordon, good. Uh, oh yeah, you got. Um, you didn't get that one right. Kilfinnan Bay is actually just north of the Akalik Bay, but a good guess. It was wasn't too far away. It's just a couple of kilometres north. Oh, Margie, oh a bit further south for you. Good, good effort, Harry Balfour. Um, pretty close to most of them there. Uh, where's the next? Let's just go down and have a look. Few more good ones there. Yes, so the first person I got all three, I think I might be wrong here, but Nigel, Nigel Smith, fantastic, good stuff. You, uh, you got them. I uh, think you were, you were, you weren't cheating, were you? Using Google's Google Maps, but you had to get the area to be able to do that. And um, so he says, yeah, the beach was a, a bay beginning with an A. So yeah, you're not giving away. I like, I like your uh, answer because you weren't giving the answers away, and the viewpoints were along the A eight zero zero three. And the windswept place was in a true Bob Holness fashion. The phrase I can have, can I have a P? Yes, of Port of Addy. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Devo, yeah, Argyle Secret Coast. Absolutely right. <laughs> oh, that's a good one from Douglas, not far from Mulhouse. And, and, and so it goes on. Just a couple more. I'll, I'll not go through them all. Stefan, fantastic. Um, I did answer it, yeah, cheers for answering my question in Gary's interview, so that was on the, the live stream I did last, thanks for uh, asking me those questions, Stefan, I uh, hope the answer was adequate, <laughs> um, but you, you got it spot on as well, after a bit of uh, deep delving into uh, Google Maps and, and what have you, finding the beach in the cottage, and I think the, the, the last person that I was going to mention, who got all three, was Alan, Alan Hunter, yeah fantastic, lower Akalik Beach, I didn't realise there was an upper Akalik Beach, I'll need to look at that on the map, Tena Brook for a cuppa, which is, which is exactly what we did, and um, the last one, oh you found that easy, you must have been up to that standing stone Alan, that was Portavari, so yeah well done everybody, and yeah thank, once again just thanks for taking part in that, it was just, just a wee bit of fun, um, something different, and I, and I hope you enjoyed those of you that took part and, and had a wee play, I hope you enjoyed just uh, looking at the maps and trying to find out where I was. So, moving on, uh, I, I, I have now got to the point, you would have seen my last wild camp, or maybe you didn't um, go back and check out, that was a fantastic wild camp. My last wild camp video was last week and then I did this one this week. This was, uh, Feb as I said, January or February time, but that's all the sort of vlogs that I had backdated, used up now for the Wednesday nights. When I say backdated, I mean the ones that are filmed after Christmas. So what to expect now on a Wednesday night is I've got three or four really old vlogs which never have never seen the light of day. <laughs> They've been buried in the archives of steaming boots. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some of those out. I might actually do a poll and see which ones you want to watch. They're, they're okay, they're, they're fine. I've also got one one more recent, I think from two years ago, a wild camping vlog which I had to edit to a shorter version which I'll put out as well at some point. And depending on how long lockdown goes on for, I, I'm also going to, I think, go back and look at re <laughs> digitally remaster some of my old, old vlogs which have been removed from YouTube. Mainly because I was sticking things like <laughs> soundtracks like ACDC and the Foo Fighters on top of and uh, at the time I didn't have a clue how YouTube worked and they were taken down so I'm thinking of going back and remastering or just when I say remastering editing them now from the original footage so if there's any old ones that you want me to re-edit let, let me know in the comments below and yeah I'll, I'll give them a go but there's certainly some which have been removed from YouTube over the years which I think might be worthy of, uh, of redoing so that's the plan 
kind of waffling on now, uh, this is a, once again a different vlog, don't expect this every week um, and I'll still do my best, if you guys still want me to um, get vlogs out, I'll still try my best to get one out on a Wednesday night which will be outdoorsy and then the Sunday vlogs which will be something something to do in the office, maybe answering some, some of your questions. So please again, pop down in the comments below any, any vlogs that you'd like me to do from within the office, you know, anything that you'd like me to go over and I can try and keep, keep these vlogs going. Let me know if you don't want me to, to continue, if you'd rather I just stopped and waited until lockdown was over, but uh, hopefully it's providing some outdoor entertainment while we're all stuck indoors. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully see you on Wednesday for an old vlog. Might have more hair in the vlog than Wednesday. Less wrinkles, I don't know. Check out, let me know. <laughs> let me know what, what things you notice different in, the, in Wednesday's vlog. Anyway, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next adventure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>